This is going to be a short little video just to help some people out with the uh, with the oiler on these little Poland chainsaws. Poland, Poulin, Poulan, however you want to say it, but Poland, that's the, the way it's supposed to be said. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, these are just awesome little saws. They're super, super easy to work on, like extremely easy. So um, let's put this one to the side. This is a little, oops, this is a little Mastercraft. It's uh, the same as I think the 2300 AV, the Pool and 2000, something like that. They're all they're all basically the same oiler, anyways. So we'll just get into uh, how you check the oiler, and uh, and get it working right, and how to remove the clutch as well if you don't have the right tools. Okay, so take the clutch off. If you don't have the right tools, you can just use a couple bigger wrenches. This one's you know, 23 millimeter. I don't know what size, seven eighths roughly. Then this is a one inch, bigger, bigger wrenches like that. You're gonna to wanna to take the spark plug out here. Spark plug just goes right in here, right in there. Take the spark plug out and turn the engine over until you just start to see the piston start to come up and then feed some some rope in there or some wire, like like just some wire or something, not to, like wire with a coating on it. You know, you don't wanna scratch the cylinder up basically jam it in there so then the piston can't turn that'll lock it up for you so you can take the clutch off and then you uh, just put your one wrench in there like that and then your other wrench is gonna go in here like that okay and then you're just gonna twist it and you can see the arrow which way you have to, which way it goes off it's uh, reverse threads on this one, so you'll go this. You'll go clockwise to take it off. You'll see where where it says. So yeah, so you sometimes you can tap it with a hammer, or you're gonna have to hold the back of the saw down with your knee or something. But you, if you use big big wrenches like that, it'll come off pretty easy. And then, <clears throat> so you take that off, right? And then you got two oiling or two check valves basically. You've got this check valve up here, so you're gonna need a half inch wrench or socket is better and you're going to pull it out Oops. and the way these work is the crankcase pressure from the engine pressures up the oil tank and then it makes its way up here and oils the bar but these check valves have to seal if they don't uh, your oiler's not going to work or if they're plugged or something like that so yeah just this little pinhole here and you should be able to blow through it one way and not the other so here i'll just show you what i do okay so what i do is i just take some fuel line this is pretty long you don't need it this long but um i just put fuel line on the end and then you just blow into the the end of the hose i don't know if you can hear that but you can put that thing, if the hose is long enough, you can just put that right up to your ear. And you can actually, it should be able to blow into it. And on this case, I can. And then suck on it then. There should be a vacuum there. There. So this one's good. It's sealing fine. Now, you can't buy these anymore as far as I know. But there is a guy that... Uh, custom build some you can buy those ones you can't buy them from the regular aftermarket stores anymore as far as I know maybe you might be able to get lucky and find one on eBay I'm not sure so they flow in the screen this way comes out the hole here that's it that's what comes out here and then there's just a little hole you can see that little pinhole there in the threads that just runs straight through into the oil tank so it pressures this whole tank up and I'll show you where it goes after that but anyways if there's a, I think there's a duck bill, a little duck bill in here, a little check valve. I think you can take a file and file the end off of it and then get that screen out. You won't be able to put the screen back in, but most guys say the screens are never usually dirty anyways. But ultimately, if you can just uh, find the fellow that sells these, I think he, ha he might have them on eBay. I think they're about 15 or $20 US to buy them. And then you'll get a new check valve. But anyways, if it turns out the check's okay, and you go to this, you, you pull this next one out. Now there's just a plate here, two screws, flathead, screwdriver, something like that. And you pull it out. And then you have this piece here. Now it's got a little filter. Here's the little filter. 
You can just pull it out. You'll see how it comes, comes out very easily. And so what happens after this is the oil or the pressure comes up through these little holes in there. Those little holes where my fingers are there. The pressure goes up through there and then pushes this way through this little orifice. And there's actually a little ball and a spring, I believe it is in there. And so often they get, like you'll, you'll put the, you can just put this hose on the end of it and you can blow in and out of it. Okay, that's me sucking in. And I'm trying to blow out and sealing. But when I first took this thing apart, you could blow both ways through it and you don't want that. It can only, it can only have pressure one way. So what I did was I just took the end of my screwdriver and uh, I just tapped it right here. But oh, before I did that though, I squirted, I squirted a bunch of WD-40 in both ends. And then I just took the air gun and blew, and blew it out. If you don't have an air, air hose, you can just use a hose like this and try lightly blowing it out. And then it still wasn't quite right. So I just, like I said, just started tapping it right there. And I tapped it and I, I spun it around, just kept tapping all around here. Just tap, 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 tap. And then it started sealing. So it's good now. And I don't know, I don't think there's a duck bill in here. I think it's just a ball and a spring. Might be able to take like a small little punch and, and punch that out. I believe that's how you'd have to get that out of there. I didn't do it with mine. I just tapped it around there. Then I put some more WD-40 and blew it out again. And then just put your hose on, on the end of there to test it. And so once those both seal, then... Uh, that part of it's good. Now on this particular saw, I was running it and it started sounding like it had a knock. And uh, so I thought maybe the crankshaft bearings had went or something. And it turned out my oil was somehow getting into where the piston is. So th that means that either this wasn't sealing before because I kind of just sprayed it as soon as I took it out and then I put the line on it to check it. So maybe it wasn't sealing and I know this for sure wasn't wasn't sealing. So maybe it was able to pressure up. I don't know. Maybe it was able to pressure up and pressure back into the engine. I'm not sure. But I also see in here that there's there's some gaskets there. So I don't know. It looks like that is the where the engine uh, crankcase halves go together. If it is, then I guess the oil could leak through that gasket. So. I haven't fixed that yet or figured that out, but I'm just thinking that could be it if, if you have that problem. Some guys claim that their machine smokes lots. That's what that would be because it's actually trying to burn this oil in the engine. And uh, in my case, it had so much bar oil in there, I went to pull it over and it wouldn't even pull over because it was so, it was like hydro locked. So um, if you hear that and you hear a bit of a knocking sound, um, yeah, that's what it is. So in that case, just take the uh, oil cap off. I'm going to have to find a way to pressure this oil tank up to check that. But at least this will get you figured out on these check valves. Um, you can Google online. There's, a, there's some info on how to change these. But the, basically, you just take a flat file and you file off the edge until you can get this screen out. And there's just a duck bill in there. You can buy the duck bills for like 50 cents or a dollar or something like that. Just go to any Husky or Still. Uh, dealer and they'll have the ones in stock there. I think those ones would probably work but Yeah, try that and then uh, you Make your little saw go again because these things are just they're just awesome little saws. This one's 38 cc's Reed valve and these are the same I think is the 2300 AVs I believe or something similar. They're all the same uh, basic design super awesome reliable saw um, The fuel lines and stuff are real easy to change You'll see how the cover comes off, comes off easy. And the fuel lines just go up into here and to the carburetor. And to get the oil line, this piece just goes in here, right? And then there's an oil line on the end and it just goes up to, to oops, it just goes up to here. So I've seen people try, like I've seen videos where people are trying to, you know, put the hose in there and stick a wire through there and pull it out. No, you don't have to do that. Just super simple. Just you just push the line in this way and eventually you'll be able to see it from the inside. And then just grab it with some needle nose pliers and just pull it out. And you just want it sitting flush right there with, with that back part there. You just want it so it's just 
just flush with the hole, and then it will it will it will, it will oil the uh, bar good, and you won't have to beat yourself up trying to fish it through with a wire and everything like that. You just push it right in there. Make sure you get the right line. I've seen other videos where people are like putting silicone. No, don't do any of that. Just get the actual right line. Uh, most Husky or Napper, those guys usually stock. This is the good stuff, Tigon. It's definitely more expensive. Uh, you can find it on Amazon. It's cheap. But it's more expensive than that other clear PVC stuff, whatever. But that stuff's garbage in it, and it it's going to crack. Like, you want to do this job once and not have to do it again, right? So just get the good fuel line. I don't know the exact measurement or size what that is, but super, super simple once you get into it. I think it's three bolts to get this cover off on this side. So there you go. Hope that helps you out, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one.